Hello, good morning all of you. Welcome back again. Uh, in the today's session, we will see the different terms involved in UV visible spectroscopy. You know that UV visible spectroscopy, it is an oldest physical method. It is useful for qualitative and quantitative analysis. UV visible spectroscopy, it is mainly concerned with ultraviolet region that is starting from 200 to 400 nanometer and visible region starting from 400 to 800 nanometer. Actually, the spectroscopy, uh, it is the branch of the science and it deals with the study of the electromagnetic radiation, right? Uh, electromagnetic radiations with what matter or the substances it can be studied. Now we will see the different terms involved in the U visible spectroscopy. So first terminology is chromophore, right? Number one is chromophore. Chromophore. What is chromophore? Chromophore, it is an isolated functional group which is capable to absorb the UV radiation is known as what? Chromophore. The example of chromophoric group is NO2, right? right? Nitrogen, oxygen, double bond. Carbon, carbon, double bond. Carbon, sulfur, double bond. Carbon, nitrogen, triple bond, right? Carbon, oxygen, double bond. So these all are the examples of what you are chromophoric group. What is chromophore? Chromophore, it is an isolated functional group which is capable to absorb the UV radiation is known as what? Chromophore. And these are the examples of the chromophore. NO2, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, carbon, double bond, carbon, sulfur, carbon, nitrogen, triple bond, carbon, oxygen, double bond. This is the example of what you are chromophore, right? Now, the second term involved in the UV visible spectroscopy is oxochrome. Number two is oxochrome. What is mean by the oxochrome? Oxochrome, it is also the functional group, but it is not capable to absorb the UV radiation. When it is attached to the chromophoric group, then it can shift it towards what? Longest wavelength, then it is known as what? Oxochrome. Example of oxochromic group is what? Hydroxyl group, NH2 group, OCS3 group, these are the examples of what you are oxochrome. Suppose OH, right, NH2, then OCS3. This is the examples of what oxochromic group. See, the benzene, right, lambda max of benzene is 255 nanometer. This is the lambda max value of benzene. In benzene, if I attach the NH2 group, right, means oxochromic group, then its lambda max value shifted towards longest wavelength, that is 280 nanometer. Then if I attach the OH oxochromic group to the benzene, right, its lambda max value shifted towards longest wavelength, that is 270 nanometer. Another one is what? Anisole. This is the structure of anisole. And its lambda max value is 269 nanometer, right? So, therefore, when the oxochromic group, see, NH2, OH, OCS3, these all are the what? Oxochromic group. When the oxochrome group is attached to the chromophore group, its lambda max value shifted towards what? Longest wavelength. And then it is known as what you are? Oxochrome, right? So, you remember this oxochrome. Now, the third term involved in the UV visible spectroscopy that is bathochromic shift. Bathochromic shift. This bathochromic shift is also known as red shift. Right? What is meant by the bathochromic shift? When absorption maximum lambda max of a compound is shifted towards longest wavelength is known as what bathochromic shift right when absorption maxima lambda max of a compound is shifted towards longest wavelength is known as what bathochromic shift 
why compound shows the orthochromic shift it is due to presence of the oxochromic group right or change in the solvent right example is para nitrophenol para nitrophenol in alkaline medium it can shows what red shift right see this is the structure of para nitrophenol in alkaline medium so here is lambda max value of para nitrophenol is 255 nanometer and in alkaline medium it can be shifted towards longest wavelength that is 265 nanometer then it is called as what bathochromic shift what is the bathochromic shift when absorption maxima lambda max of a compound is shifted towards longest wavelength is known as the bathochromic shift why compound shows the bathochromic shift due to presence of the oxochrome or change in the solvent right and which compound shows the bathochromic shift the compound name is what para nitrophenol in alkaline medium it can shows the bathochromic shift its lambda max value 255 increase to 265 nanometer right this is your bathochromic shift then fourth terminology is hypsochromic shift hypsochromic shift is also known as blue shift fourth one is hypsochromic shift this hypsochromic shift is known as blue shift when absorption maxima lambda max of a compound is shifted towards shortest wavelength then it is known as what hypsochromic shift right so why compound shows the hypsochromic shift or blue shift it is due to what removal of the conjugation or change in the uh, polarity of polarity right due to these two reason compound can shows what hypsochromic shift or blue shift example is what aniline aniline in acidic medium it can shows the blue shift this is the structure of aniline nh2 right This is in acidic medium. This is shifted here. This is here. This is here. So its lambda max value is 280 nanometer. And in acidic medium, it formed NH3 plus, right? Cl minus. And it shifted towards 265 nanometer means what shortest wavelength therefore this is called as what hypsochromic shift okay now fifth term is that is hyperchromic shift hyperchromic shift hyperchromic shift means what when absorption intensity that is what epsilon of a compound is increased then it is known as what hyperchromic shift hyperchromic shift means what when the absorption intensity epsilon of a compound is increased then it is known as what hyperchromic shift the example is what this is the structure of what you are pyridine right Pyridine epsilon value is 2750. The another example is what you are 2 methyl pyridine means what oxochromic group is introduced. That's why it can be shifted towards what 3000 sorry uh, 3560 epsilon value right. So why it goes on increase due to addition of what oxochromic 
group that's why it is known as what hyperchromic shift hyperchromic shift means what when absorption intensity epsilon of a compound is increased then it is known as what hyperchromic shift right so example is pyridine and 2 methyl pyridine okay and sixth number term is hypochromic shift hypochromic shift what is the hypochromic shift when absorption intensity epsilon of a compound is decreased then it is known as what hypochromic shift right which compound shows the hypochromic shift that is what your naphthalene this is the structure of what your naphthalene right and its epsilon value is 19000 is the epsilon value and another example is 2 methyl naphthalene right so ch3 its epsilon value decrease that is 10250 why because if the group is introduced right then geometry would will be changed that's why its epsilon value can be decrease this is called as what hyperchromic shift is that clear so i will again give the important key point to remember the bathochromic shift hypochromic shift bathochromic shift or red shift means what lambda max value goes on what increasing right then absorption maxima lambda max of a compound goes on what increase or it is shifted towards longest wavelength this is called as what your bathochromic shift second one is what hypochromic shift hypochromic shift means what absorption maxima of a compound is shifted towards what shortest wavelength then it is known as what hypochromic shift then hyperchromic shift means what epsilon value increase this is called as what hyperchromic shift and hypochromic shift means what epsilon value decrease then it is called as what you were hypochromic shift right so i think uh, we will conclude here right i hope that you understood the different terminology which is used in the uv visible spectroscopy that is chromophore oxochrome bathochrome then hypochrome hyperchromic shift hypochromic shift okay thank you very much